Hey there, this is Carmen and today I'm going to talk about the topic how to transcend a false twin flame experience and how to attract as a result your true twin flame. So keep watching, I have three fast tips for you how to transcend this situation. I know by myself that it can feel very uncomfortable going and moving through false twin flame experiences and not knowing like is he the right one? Is she the right one or not? And am I love? Am I allowed to love them? And yeah, so let's start with tip number one. First of all, it's always good to detach from your twin flame person. So the person you think who might be your twin flame. So what does it mean? It's more like seeing your twin flame or the twin flame person as your divine mirror. Because this is their main purpose, to just show you and reflect your own consciousness back to you. Because this is what twin flames do. He or she is your perfect divine mirror. And so whenever you're like experiencing an upset in your union, um, or you feel very triggered, or you feel like he's running away from you, and, but, and you're like kind of like the chaser, that's simply not true. When you experience, for example, let's say I say him, him running away from you, then it means like you're somewhere in your consciousness running away from yourself. And I know this sounds maybe a little, sound a little weird, but it can show up in different things. Like, for example, you may run away from your feelings. You may run away from your finances, looking at some sort of, topics in your life or you don't listen to yourself so this can all be things that might be reflect back to you and in the end of the video i will show you how you can resolve this and how you can find out where you're running away from yourself and how to move through it and attract your true twin flame so first as i already shared like seeing your twin flame the twin flame person as your divine mirror just like really seeing that everything that you experience is just a reflection of your own consciousness. And so all you have to do is really love yourself and be aware of how you feel about this situation. And just see really that they're here to love you. Your twin flame and also your twin flame person, even a false twin, twin flame person, is just here to love you. And you might say, uh, no, I don't experience love right now in my union. That's not love. Yeah, you're probably right. But this is just a reflection of how you believe your union is like. And it's a process and it takes definitely time to move through things like that. And I know it can feel very uncomfortable, but it's so worth it moving through it and really detach from who you think your twin flame is to really see on the other side they are just here to love you and yes that's a very beautiful thing so here comes tip number two a very easy and fast way to recognize your false twin flame or moreover your true twin flame is creating a love list so if you don't know what it is don't worry i may like touch upon it but there are several courses that go in detail in it. For example, the Romans Attraction e-course from Jeff and Shalia and the Dreams Coming True e-course from Jeff and Shalia. You can check them out on our website. They're for free. So the first lessons are for free and I recommend you check them out, especially the one from Dreams Coming True. There's one lesson for the love list, how to create it. And yeah, you really want to check this one out to go deeper here. But the love list is actually like creating a list with your values and your desires that you have in your partner, in your union. So, for example, just to share one of my core values is, of course, romance, respect and honesty, trust and so much more. When you write this, you may want to create a space for you where you feel safe and 
loved and comfortable maybe put some romantic music on and just feel into your heart like what is it that you want in your relationship how does it even look like so really get clear on your values fun is also a value and don't look superficial on it like yeah you has to have like uh, short hair or you has to have a beard or whatever it is yeah it doesn't matter get clear on the value what is it that the long hair represents to you the short hair the beard whatever maybe it's just masculinity or he is into fashion or whatever so just get clear on the value here and as i already said like check the dream coming true e-course out and the romance attraction e-course really you will get a better feeling for it and how to create it and also another tip that i can give you right now is to look at your past relationships and ask yourself like what did you like in your relationships and what you didn't like and so for example when you find something that you liked you can write it immediately down so you like that he romance yourself or that he like listened to you supported you or whatever it is you can all write it down and then you can also get clear on what you didn't like. This is, by the way, also a wonderful way to look at what you can heal because this will be reflected back in your union as well when it's not resolved yet. So you can look at like, yeah, he didn't really respect me or he wasn't really, he was blaming me for faults or whatever. So this is what you didn't like. And then you can turn it into a positive way. Like, for example, he is, he should be then, your perfect partner should be then self-reflected and maybe he values the inner healing as much as you do and so on so the list can be very very long and it will grow over time and you should not limit yourself this is a very important thing because your twin flame your true twin flame will met every single point on your love list and even beyond you can't imagine how beautiful it is and how satisfying it will be coming together with your twin flame but you're already one so don't worry he loves you perfectly and he's loving you right now even maybe through a, a false twin flame just to show you your biggest blocks to your union so you can resolve it compassionately and i will talk about that later what does it mean like but first of all i want to share the third tip which is like be a honey badger for love it's like honey badger for love is being really consistent in your self-love and seeing everything every trigger every upset every sadness everything that doesn't feel good for you as an opportunity to love yourself right now and how you love yourself is simply a wonderful method and the only tool that you will ever need on your twin flame journey you can love yourself with the mirror exercise which Jeff and Shalia teach. In their book Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover they go into detail how the mirror exercise works and how you can do it. So it's like worth a whole new video but we already have some on our YouTube channel so definitely check this one out. It's so easy and you will definitely need it on your Twin Flame journey. So with this exercise you can get clear on your upsets what's upsetting you and then simply love yourself in these places and it's really easy it's wonderful and it will resolve anything and so just really be consistent in every upset see it just detach from it and see it's just a building block to my union so instead of being upset about your upsets <laughs> you can let it go and just say like hey I'm gonna love myself here because this is the only way to resolve it and Jeff and Shalia has have proven that this is the method there are several unions and harmonious unions so people being together with their true twin flames permanently and for all eternity and so you definitely want to check this one out because this is it and so yeah just love yourself this is the only thing love yourself be there for yourself and with the mirror exercise you will find out how you're running away from yourself 
and you will get clearer over time and will get better as everything is practiced. And so your false twin flame will automatically, without any control of you, fall away of your life, out of your life easily when you just love yourself because if they're your true twin flame, if they would be your true twin flame, they would reflect that love back to you, multiplied, amplified. And this is why it sometimes maybe could feel very overwhelming or super upsetting, super triggering. This is normal. It's here to really show you in your face, hey, you have to resolve this. And so here's why and how you can see that they're really loving you, even a false twin flame. It's just really they're showing you, hey, you're out of alignment with love here. Your only source, the thing that you are at the core, you're out of alignment here. You believe something else and it wouldn't feel good, believe me, <laughs> if your true twin flame or if you would be with your true twin flame at this time when you experience uh, super upsets because with your twin flame it's even more amplified and can be super traumatic. And so having a false twin flame experience is not a bad thing. It's also not a bad thing being with a twin flame right now because it means, yeah, okay, you might be ready for it right now. But if not, it doesn't matter that you're not good enough. It doesn't matter that you're not like advanced enough to be with your true twin flame right now or to have them in your life. It really doesn't matter at all. Actually, a false twin flame experience can help you even faster coming into union and they will fall easily away. So it's it's just so wonderful and so beautiful. And in the end, in the end, I say like after healing and upset, you will be so grateful for them showing you the way, showing you like, hey, you haven't loved yourself here yet. So how would you be able to receive in love in this place when you haven't loved yourself yet there? So that's the thing. Fill your cup up with love with your own love, with God's love, and then you will be able to receive it even more in deep depths. And this is such a wonderful thing. Yes, I hope this video helped you getting clear and these tips help you. If you want to have more support on your journey, feel free to reach out in the comments or in the open forum on Facebook. And but yeah, check definitely our website out because there is also a free introductory e-course, no course for twin flames. So there you have like a whole spectrum of twin flames. What does it mean? How to come into union and yeah, check it out. This is totally for free and enjoy. Don't miss this opportunity. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe and see you soon. Bye.